Good evening, everyone, and welcome to DrinkNectar.com. I am your host, Josh Wade, and this is the Internet's place to explore the five senses of coffee and wine. Tonight, we are going to get naked. <sighs> Just kidding. I know that uh, some of you were already turning the video off. We're actually getting naked with Naked Winery out of Hood River, Oregon, and we're going to be tasting one of their Naked Merlots and their Naked Pinot Grigio, and they are known as being the world's sexiest winery. And you wonder how they can claim that? Well, listen to some of the names of their red wines. They have the Naked and the Dominatrix, the Missionary, the Penetration, the Vixen, and the Hucking Good Cabernet. And then on their white wines, they have the Escort, the Gay Rosé, the Foreplay, the Naughty, the Virgin, and the Tease. You can find Naked Winery in their tasting rooms in Hood River, Oregon, just about 60 miles outside of Portland, as well as in Yakima, Washington. They get all their grapes from the uh, Columbia Valley area, as well as the Willamette uh, region in Oregon. And you can find um, them on the web at www.nakedwinery.com, and you can also follow them on Twitter at Naked Winery. Let's jump into the review. Take a look at the Naked Winery Pinot Grigio, purchased for 18 US dollars. Stripping down the bare essentials, it's hard to take your eyes off the luscious legs as they streak down the glass. Let's give this the swirl. Got a nice clarity, a yellow straw color, not quite as yellow as a Chardonnay. Sounds, uh, looks like it might be a good crisp wine. Give it a sniff. Getting some pear, uh, some very crisp pear in there. Um, a little bit of buttery notes coming out, which is very interesting, like a buttered toast that I'd find in a Chardonnay. Um, let's give this the sip. This is an incredibly smooth wine. Uh, definitely picked up some of that buttery Chardonnay flavor as it was going down. Uh, something that was really intriguing is how long the finish is lasting. And it's got a nice acidity that you would feel uh, in this region here. Still tasting it in the very, very back of my uh, mouth, which is extremely pleasing. Would love to sit out on the deck in the summertime and uh, drink this wine. Could definitely see this pairing well with uh, summertime. <laughs> Could also see it pairing well with a spicy dish. Uh, as well as some white sauce, pasta dishes, some fish. Um, it would be a, a great tasting wine with that. Overall, an incredible value for $18. Has a nice smooth taste uh, to it. Let's move on to the Naked Winery Columbia Valley Merlot. Lusty with a smooth complexion and long legs. Gives a full frontal of ripe plums with a firm, well-rounded end actually do enjoy a firm, well-rounded end, if I don't say so. This is a 2005 Merlot from Columbia Valley. Give this the swirl. You can see it borders on the uh, darker, kind of brownish purple, brownish plum color. Um, a little, slightly opaque, can almost see to the bottom of the glass. Give this the sniff. Well, that is very aromatic. There are a lot of different uh, smells that I get off of this. Uh, first ones that are coming off are definitely some dark blackberry, uh, and then you get that hint of um, you know leather, uh, tobacco. It's just a small amount of it in the back end. Really enjoying the complexity and uh, intrigues me to what the sip is going to bring. So let's give it the sip. For those that know me, you know that I enjoy a, a great Washington Merlot. Seem to be producing some of the best Merlots uh, that the country has to offer right now. This one is uh, a little strong. It's still, even as a 2005, could be slightly young um, or just needs a little bit of food to go with it. There's a great strong back end to it. Uh, they were correct when it said it had a nice firm round end. Uh, that tannic structure is there. As you let it come through your mouth, you definitely pick up the fruit in there. Uh, it's not a fruit bomb by any means. Uh, it has some good character. Now starting to feel some of the acidity uh, that would wash away the food. Overall, it's a very good offering. I uh, would put it in there with uh, some other Malos that I pick up. Very interested, based off of these two wines, to try out the other offerings that this winery has, from their Cabs, their Pinot Noir, uh, their Chardonnays. 
I've really enjoyed this provocative tasting experience tonight with Naked Winery. I want to encourage you guys to pick up some Naked Winery when you see them. Visit them in their tasting rooms in Hood River as well as in Yakima, Washington. Find them online at nakedwinery.com. Life is always meant to be enjoyed with friends. I want to encourage you to get naked, grab a glass of Naked Wine, and drink happy.